In this final tutorial, we'll look at accessing the entire database of documents from within XSLT. I think this is what makes MarkLogic's XSLT implementation really exciting. Traditionally, XSLT processors have required all of their input to be loaded into memory. In contrast, a database-backed implementation, such as MarkLogic's processor, allows you to access much larger datasets than would be traditionally practical in XSLT. Although the Shakespeare collection isn't a particularly large dataset, it will do just fine for our purposes. So far, we've only accessed one document at a time, the source document of the XSLT transformation. Now, let's add some code to our page.xsl file that accesses documents from the entire database. Before we do that, let's report some statistics at the top of the page here. Let's list the total number of people in this play. These are rep represented using persona elements, so we'll select all those and pass that node set to the count function. Running the code shows that there are 28 characters in Macbeth. Now what if we want to access a different document in the database besides our source document? We can do that regardless of what our source document is by using the document function. Let's add another line to our code that reports the number of characters in Hamlet. Now let's get the total count of the cast of characters from all of Shakespeare's plays. For that, we'll need a function that returns all documents in the database. The function we're looking for is collection. It can return a specific collection named by URI, but if you pass it no arguments, as we're doing here, then it returns all documents in the database. Viewing the result shows that there are 969 total personae, or characters, in Shakespeare's plays. Now wouldn't it be nice to get a report of the persona count for each document in the database? That too is easy, again using the collection function. Back in page.xsl, we'll create an unordered list. Next, we'll use XSL for each to iterate over all the play elements in the database. Let's sort them by title. And for each play, we'll list both the title of the play and the count of characters. Reviewing the results shows all the data aggregated into one page. And that concludes our tour. Thanks for taking time to explore MarkLogic's XSLT capabilities with me. Truly, the sky's the limit on what you can do with this stuff.